video is just a, kind of a warning to any of you that are doing what I'm doing or thinking about it and you have a, an older tablet or laptop or, or whatever that's running an older Microsoft operating system such as Windows XP, Windows 7, whatever, and you're thinking, oh, I'll upgrade to the new Windows 10 or you're going to buy something with the Windows 8.1 and upgrade to Windows 10. My advice is don't do it. <laughs> Stay away. Run. You know what? It's, it's like any new operating system. It takes a little time to acclimatize to it. The problem is with Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 is it just doesn't work. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. And one of the thing, one of the biggest requirements I need my laptops to do is hook to the internet fairly flawlessly without me messing around with them too much. You know, today's level of technology should be such that if you're if there's an available signal, you should be able to tie into it and get it fairly easily without doing a bunch of tampering with the hardware. Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 is very much a step backwards. I have a, a, a several different antennas that I use to connect to Wi-Fi signals, mostly because my laptops are inside my vehicle. And as such, I have to plug the, you know, the, the internal antennas don't work very well inside a metal, metal vehicle. And I don't always have the laptop up here by the window or whatever. It's usually in the back or whatever. So I have an external uh, antenna setup. I actually have several. And with Windows 10, when I switch from area to area, I find I'm having to reboot two, three times to get a signal. I can get into a signal. I can get logged in. But it won't connect to the Internet. It'll, it'll give me access to the network, but no Internet access. Meanwhile, right beside it, my Windows 7 laptop, I've turned it on, it's on immediately, just like that. And it doesn't matter which antenna I, I use, Windows 10 and Windows 8.1 is just not the operating system if you're going to be moving around from hotspot to hotspot. So my advice is save your money and wait for a new version of Windows to come out in a, a year or two. Hopefully that'll happen. It's, Windows 10 is very reminiscent of another operating system that really made me angry, and that was Windows ME. It was just dreadful. You know, Windows 95, for what it was, was a game changer. Windows 98 had some bugs or whatever, but it, it solved a lot of problems with installing drivers. It was a bit of a pain in the neck, but once you learned to deal with it, it wasn't too bad. Windows ME was absolutely dreadful. And then what was after that? I guess Windows XP. That was fantastic. Particularly after, by the time they hit the sec, I think it was the second service pack, it was really nice and stable. And you know what? If I had a, if I had a computer right now with Windows XP, I'd probably be pretty happy to use it. It would do what, for the most part, what I need it to do. It'd just be a question of whether it could take full advantage of the, uh, the various hardware that's out there now. Which is why I say if you, you're currently running Windows 7 or you have a copy of Windows 7 and you think you can use it for new hardware, do so. Don't upgrade because you think you should go to Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. Stay away from it. You know, there's people that don't mind it. And if you can find you can get along with it, Groovy, you have a fixed internet access such as you know a, a home home use it's probably doable it's probably perfectly fine it's actually probably really good if you're not not moving around if you if it, it seems to be pretty stable other than that it's just the fact it doesn't you know they want it to be like a smartphone I guess but it does a really bad job of it it's actually like a very stupid phone anyway uh, enough on that I just thought I'd throw that little tip out there just in case people are thinking like me that they want to they want to update to the new new software, new operating system. Well, maybe it's time to start looking at Linux. <laughs> anyway, have a good one, guys, from Vancouver Island. Have a good day.